What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and you're looking at Pewter. Pewter is a free and open source web OS. So this is something that exists purely in your web browser, but acts as a full OS. And if configured properly, you can access it anywhere. So you might notice that I'm actually running this from their website, pewter.com, which you can actually go to to try out the app. You just go to pewter.com, it automatically makes you an account and uh, you can open up the app center, download apps, use notepad, use uh, the camera, anything you'd like to do, you can use this online through their hosted service. If you'd like to save, obviously um, you would have to sign up for an account and things like that, but this is completely open source and you can run it on your own computer. So let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna go to hey pewter slash pewter on uh, GitHub. And we're going to go to the latest release and just download it. So releases 2.5.1 and we'll download the source code. Once it's downloaded, simply open up the folder and uh, place it wherever you'd like it to go. Preferably somewhere uh, permanent if you're actually going to be using this on a regular basis. But I'm just going to place it on my desktop and open it right up. Now, the only thing you need to do before you uh, start this process is install Node.js. If you don't have Node.js installed yet, uh, go ahead and install Node. And once that's in, you're good to go. So all we're going to do is right click in this and open up our terminal. And we're going to type npm install, which is going to install all of the requirements and dependencies for this project. And this could take some time. Folder and nice. Once the npm install is finished, just type in npm start and it's going to uh, get everything set up and then start in a new window. So it loaded up a new window here, pewter.localhost4100. And it is still setting things up here. Uh, you can see it created an admin uh, username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and refresh the page. And here we are. So welcome to your personal internet computer. Now we can get started and we can set a username. So let's go ahead and type uh, Mike. And now we've created a local account for us to use. Now you'll see we have a menu on the bottom which we can load up and uh, view any kinds of apps or things like that. We can load up the Dev Center to create apps, which is a nice touch. And that will let you set all of your favorite uh, web apps or web capable apps such as uh, Visual Studio Code or Microsoft Word 365 as actual apps within the um, web OS itself, which is pretty awesome. You also have some standard things like a camera, a recorder, a text editor, a video player, and even a terminal. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of Pewter in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.